right, ready for our first case. Please introduce yourself, state your name, and DOC number for the record. Um, Raheem Lewis, 588-300. All right, Raheem, you heard the introduction. We're having a parole revocation hearing. I'll, put, I'll read you some rule violations. You plead guilty, not guilty, guilty with a statement, or not guilty with a statement. We'll ask some questions. You can respond. At the end, you can take make a statement, take a vote. You understand the process? Mm, that's no. That's it. Raheem Lewis, DOC number 588300. Can you read and write? Mm, yes, yes, sir. Do you have a parole revocation questionnaire in front of you? Um, no. no. Put, the, put the parole revocation questionnaire on the screen. All right, you see that? Is that your signature at the bottom? Yes. All right. Raheem Lewis, DOC number 588300. Rule number two, you failed to report to Georgia probation. Pro probation officer has directed as your whereabouts were unknown since 12 26, 2022. How do you plead? How do you plead? Not guilty. Put him back on the screen. Uh, on 11. 17, 2022, you were successfully transferred via interstate compact and as a result was under supervision of the state of Georgia. While in Georgia, you were non-compliance and absconded supervision. On 12, 26, 2022, a warrant was issued for your arrest by Cobb County uh, for domestic violence, battery, visible harm. You left the state of Georgia without permission of your supervising officer in Georgia as evidenced by your arrest on 5, 2023, in which you arrested the St. Bernard Parish in Louisiana. How do you plead? Well, uh, what? How do you plead? Oh, say it again. Listen to what I'm saying, okay? Yes. <clears throat> On 11 17, 2022, you were transferred to, to Georgia. You were non compliant and absconded. On 12 26, 2022, there was a warrant, with, warrant issued for your arrest in Cobb County for domestic, abuse, domestic violence, battery, visible harm. You left the state of Georgia without permission. Your supervising officer, as evidenced by, on 5 2023 your arrest in St. Bernard Parish. How do you plead? Not guilty. Okay, so you didn't get arrested in St. Bernard Parish. You didn't leave the state? Yeah, I got I got arrested down here. So I, I guess I plead guilty. I got arrested down here. Yeah, if you want to. I'm just asking, you, did you get arrested in St. Bernard or not? Yes. And, and did you leave the state of Georgia? Yes. Okay, I'll just ask you, you say not guilty, we're going to go with it. <clears throat> Number four, you failed to refrain in criminal conduct as, as and was arrested by St. Bernard Parish Sheriff's Office on 5 2023 for resisting arrest by failure to identify. How do you plead? Guilty. Okay, number four, you also have an outstanding warrant in Cobb County, Georgia for domestic violence, battery, visible harm, for a warrant issued out of Georgia on 12 26 2022. How do you plead to that? Not guilty. Okay. Probation and parole were not able to visit your residence or place of employment due to your absconding supervision and your whereabouts were unknown since 12 26 2022. How do you plead? Not guilty. Okay. You failed to make a single payment towards your supervision fees and currently owe $378. How do you plead? Guilty. Okay. Right now, explain to me. Go ahead and explain to me how you you're not guilty for leaving the state of Georgia and getting arrested. You said you now you admitted that you did get arrested in Saint Bernard and you okay. did leave the state. So explain yeah. that to me. All right. So when I was in Georgia, right, um, my kid mother had put charges on me. So when she put charges on me, she put me out the house. You know, when she put me out the house and my parole officer down here know that I was leaving the state of Louisiana because I was trying to make a change. I was working a job when I, when I make it, when I made it to Georgia because the parole officer in Georgia let me move to the, well, give me an interstate compact to the state of Nebraska. And I was working for this company called Honeywell. Right. So when I'm when I come back home for Christmas, she put a charge on me and she put me out the house. So I don't have nowhere to go when I was in Georgia. So, so did my, you tell your parole officer you're going back to New Orleans? 
Did I tell my no? Because the, I never got in touch with my parole officer yet. By, by she putting me out the house, I had to get someone to come pick me up out there in Georgia and make it back to the state of Louisiana. Why did you didn't call your uh, parole officer? Why I didn't call my parole? You know, I, you say, hey, look, I got kicked out the house. I got a problem. Because at the time I was, I, I, at the time I really was going through a lot because it, I'm not making the excuse, but at the time I really was going through a lot. I was messed up by me just coming home and trying to make a change for my family and for someone to do me this. Like I, 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 I was scrambled at the time. You weren't leaving because it, she pressed charges against you and trying to get away from the warrant because you have an outstanding warrant still. Oh, no, I wasn't leaving for that. You remember, I was, I left because that. I didn't have anywhere to go. Okay. I didn't have I, I, anywhere to go because at the time that she she had she had got in touch with my parole officer and got in touch with Kyle County and let them know that she lied on me. Okay. All right. Would you like to make a statement on your behalf? No, 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 sir. I think you, you your full term day. When's your full term day? Um, <laughs> October the 8th or something like that. October the 8th, October the 13th. It's something like that. 2023, right? Yes. It's coming up. Okay. I, look, I vote to revoke your parole today. Um, you, you have a full-term date that's coming up. You, you did leave the state of Georgia without, you know, you can't do that. You know, once you get on, on probation, you know, and look, I, you know, there's some questionable things about the uh, the uh, domestic violence. You right, she did. We, we can't say she did. It didn't happen. I mean, we don't really know what happened or what happened. But but you did leave the state. You absconded. My vote is to deny, uh, to revoke your parole. You have a, a full term date shortly, Mr. Maribel. Likewise, same vote, Mr. Freeman. Same vote. All right, three votes to revoke your parole. Never vote. Good luck to you. We'll adjourn at nine o'clock at Saint Bernard.